What's up? What's up? Um, had a long day yesterday. Uh, had to go up to North Carolina, pick out some equipment, came back, and uh, got back in at five uh, this morning. Uh, good trip. So um, I'm pretty pretty beat right now. But uh, I want to talk about emotional takeover again. A little uh, a little different part of it. Um, I talked about it uh, before, and what I mean about emotional takeover is when you see somebody lift, uh, especially when they hit big lifts, um, it affects you emotionally and it pumps you up. It motivates you, and you automatically see what they do, and your mind and your body automatically want to replicate what they do without you knowing um, your subconscious. Um, the thing I want to talk about is now is the, the time that we're living in is the time of social media, videos. Everybody can, can communicate uh, just like that nowadays. You can, you know, you can you can communicate across the world nowadays, but the thing is, is um, with these videos that you see on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram of people lifting, it really messes everybody up. Um, and I probably hurt people feelings on this video, but um, but what most of y'all think y'all know and feel is not what you know and feel at all. Um, we learn by feel, uh, first off. Then we learn by um, uh, communication, um, dialogue. And then we learn by sight. Those three things together is the ultimate situation of learning. And what we have nowadays is just only learning by sight. You can't learn by sight. You cannot know what's actually going on. So a lot of things I do say and I do talk about people people will will, will be quick quick to um quick to uh disregard because they don't understand what I'm talking about because they don't know what they're supposed to be feeling. So if I say if I say um what what are you using in your deadlift? Automatically, people say your lower back. They say, yeah, you're pushing with your legs a little bit, but you're using your lower back. Your lower back get tight, da da da. Um, but that's the thing. That's what they see. They're trained to say your back because that's automatically what they see in every video that they watch. They say, and 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 when they see it, they replicate it, and of course, they feel their back. Yes, you feel your back. Your back's supposed to get tight. Feels like a, a, a lower belt that's tightening the back. Um, but that's not what you're supposed to feel. When you approach deadlift and you go into you go into search or you're 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 looking for that feel for the lower back to get tight um, or work that way. That's not what you're supposed to feel. In order to learn the deadlift or any lift, okay, you need to know exactly what you're supposed to feel. For example, deadlift, when you're lifting, the key of learning is hamstrings, high hamstrings, okay? That's the thing. When you know you feel the high hamstrings right when you activate that weight to lift it and then feel it throughout the lift, that's when you know you're doing it because you are pushing, okay? Okay? Everybody, a lot of people disagree with me when I say, disagree with me when I say the deadlift is a push. That's fine. I don't care. Uh, but the thing is, you got to know in order, you got, you got to, you got to know what's going on in order to actually do the lift right. You see what I'm saying? So the key is, is the hamstrings in deadlift. When you feel those hamstrings activate, that means you are actually pushing. Yes, you'll feel you'll feel the glutes a little bit, but mostly it's the hamstrings. The lower back will get tight because you're maintaining weight. It's not because you're using the hinge motion. Okay? So the emotional takeover is actually taking that away from 
from everybody and not allowing people to actually feel and know what exactly was going on. Um, so um, the best way of learning is by feel and everything. We do everything by feel. By your gut, when you're a businessman, a salesman, when when you when you when you're supposed to be lifting, when you're playing basketball, football, you go by feel. It's the instinct, okay? It's the instinct that happened. You go by feel. That's what you're supposed to do in and everything else. You learn, okay? I feel this, so when I feel this, I'm supposed to see this. OK, and then you sit there and have dialogue and discuss it back and forth with a coach or uh, a, a lifting partner or whatever. That's where you learn. It's not just by sight. And that's where we got caught up for the past decade is we we learning by sight and we see all this stuff and it's motivating. And, and we sit there and say, that's how you do it. And you sit there and do that lift and you feel what's going on. And it's like. The wrong thing you're supposed to feel because you only you only saw what they was doing and you replicating it. So therefore, everybody think, well, that's how you do it. That's what you're supposed to feel. No. Thing is, is take your time. I'm going to talk about deadlift. Feel the hamstrings when the hamstrings is activated and activated throughout. That's what you're supposed to feel. The hinge is not supposed to be there. Uh, when I let this book out, it is really going to explain what's actually going on. But um, but uh, feel out, take your time. Um, when you lift and everybody want to do speed, 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 it's just like eating. If you're hungry and you sit there and eat real fast, you can't enjoy that food. You don't know what you just ate. You can't actually taste or enjoy it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta take your time. When you go through movement slow, you can feel everything that's going on and you know exactly what's being worked and how it's being worked. But that's the video. Hope this helps y'all out. See y'all later.